All right, these are my liquid lipsticks that do not dry down, if that makes sense. So these types of formulas, um, you know, like the Too Faced Melt and Matte, they're liquid lipsticks, but um, they do not dry and aren't transfer proof. Bah, I can't talk anymore. Anything like that. So yeah, that's what these are. So let's see how quickly we can go through these. So this is pretty easy. This is not going any anywhere. It's my Melted Matte from Too Faced and Chihuahua, my favorite from that line. Um, let's see. Then I have these. I'm going to throw this into the red pile over here that's growing. Um, this is in Melted Fig. I'm actually gonna get rid of it because it is so old. I'm pretty sure it's going on four years old at this point. And my other, yeah, and it's uh, starting to smell a little different, a little um, sour, so gonna throw that away. And then these are Maybelline's Color Jolt. It's basically they're the dupe for uh, Melted, or for the melted liquid lipsticks. Um, I prefer the melted liquid lipsticks over these. These are more glossy and almost like lip gloss formula, whereas uh, these are more of a lipstick formula, which is my preference. But I'm gonna keep stripped down and I'm just gonna get rid of Never Bear and Violet Rebel. And I also have a couple Maybelline Vivid Mattes. Uh, gonna put that red away. Then I have these two in Nude Rush and Berry Boost. I'm gonna get a get rid of this color. It's a very bright color and I'd be scared to wear it and like have it run on me. So I'm gonna get rid of Berry Rush and I'm gonna keep Nude Rush is what I'm going to keep and Berry Boost is what I'm gonna get rid of. I only have one of the Revlon Ultra HD matte lip colors and I don't honestly wear it often, but it is a very pretty shade. So I'm going to keep it and try to wear it more. This is a Pure Lip Lure. Um, I remember enjoying this. Uh, got it in a BoxyCharm. Yeah, that's really pretty. I'm gonna keep that and try to remember to wear it. All right, next up I have my Rimmel uh, show-offs. I have the Lip Velvet uh, lacquers uh, and like the matte and the glossy version. Can you guys tell I have a type with my nudes? All that like kind of deeper, mauvey, rosy nude. These are really nice. Uh, you know, they move a lot, whatnot, and they're messy and you have to reapply. They don't last that long, but they're really pretty. Um, I have no idea what shade this is, but we have Galaxy and then Celestial. Yeah, that was the first shade I... I'm just gonna keep the first one I did, Celestial. Oh, and then for the two mattes, I have Meteoric Matte. And then Atomic Rose. I feel like that is just too nude. Yeah, I'm pretty sure a couple times I wore it, I just felt like it looked weird, so I'm gonna get rid of Atomic Rose, keep that berry shade, because that is really pretty. This formula I really like, it's an infallible pro matte gloss. These also smell really nice, but that is in Statement Nude, um, Blushing Ambition, I feel like that's way too pink for me, and Nude Elude. I think I'm just gonna keep Nude Elude and I'll just get rid of these two. Okay, then these are all the Smashbox uh, Be Legendary, they're like their lip pigments. Yeah, liquid lip pigments and then also metallic. So these are all the metallics. I am going to keep the blue, and the gray um, for now, not because I enjoy, like, these are my colors, but they're relatively new to my collection, and if I need something crazy, if I wanna do something creative, I don't have colors like this in my collection, so I'm gonna hang on to them. And then I think I'll just keep this shade, Mob Squad. Yes, me and my mobs. Yeah, I'll just keep Mob Squad. I don't need these other colors. I'm just never gonna wear them. I'm just not into the metallic look. Okay, so since this is a red, I'm putting it aside to go through later. Gonna get rid of this, this. When it's this dark, I prefer to have like a matte liquid lipstick that doesn't transfer that way. I don't have to worry about it. I'll keep this one. This one looks pretty. It's Rose for Before Bros. That's a fun name. Oh yeah, definitely my type of shade. And then I wanna keep a more nudie brown. Mob Wife. I'm gonna just get rid of these and keep these two. That was pretty quick and painless. These are all the liquid lipstick formulas I am keeping. And then I'm getting rid of all these. That feels good. Okay, this is my liquid lipstick collection. Uh, you guys know I like my liquid lipsticks. So honestly, this one I'm not going to be getting rid of too much, but there's definitely some stuff I can get rid of. So let's just dive in. This one is red, going over here. This one red, let, let me just get rid of all the reds, how about that? Okay, I think we got all the reds. This is my Lancome um, Matte Juicy, or it's not Matte Juicy, it's like Lancome Juicy Shaker, or Matte Shaker, it's like that one, anyway. I really like it, uh, really nice. It's not the 
totally budge proof, transfer proof, but it is extremely comfortable and it stains my lips. And it is a mother to get off, but that's okay. This is from Highlight Cosmetics. Uh, it's a newer brand and it is in Moroccan Spice. It was a nice uh, lipstick. I just, I never reach for it, so I'm just gonna pass this along. This is, uh, I've gotten a recent BoxyCharm. This is in Date Night, it's from the Beauty Crop. I really do like this liquid lipstick. I'm gonna keep that if I didn't mention it. Okay, this is from Kat Von D. It's in Lolita. I have no idea which formulation of Lolita this is, but that's what she looks like. Gonna keep it, my only one from Kat Von D. Also going to keep Meet Matt Hughes from The Balm. This is in Charming. I really like this formula. It's uh, pretty darn comfortable. Um, this is my only melted matte liquid lipstick, uh, long wear, whatever, um, in sellout. I really do like this one as well. Not the most comfortable if I remember correctly. I think it, it's a little thick, but love the shade and um, I, I wanna keep it. Here are all my um, Wet n Wild Catsuit liquid lipsticks. Um, well, for one, I'm going to get rid of this because Girl ain't gonna wear that shade. And then I think I'll just keep this shade and get rid of these. This is in Gimme Mocha. Actually, that's really dark. Wait, why was I thinking that was the one I like? Oh, Rebel Rose. I think that's the one I really like. Gimme Mocha actually looks like the Cap on D one. I'm gonna keep Rebel Rose. I'll also give me, keep Gimme Mocha and I'll just get rid of Coral. This is Jess's Girl's Matte Finish Lip color it's uh, very very comfortable and and but not as long wearing as most of my liquid lipsticks so you know it tends to fade uh, relatively quickly throughout the day but i'm gonna get rid of it because i have a lot of shades like that this is from pure it is in the color ever after ah it's been so long since i i did a review on this but i think i like this formula i think it's it's pretty decent that's a really pretty color so i'm gonna keep that oh there was one more of uh, the cat suit to Two tulip to quit. I kind of want to keep this because it's like a interesting color. It almost feels like it's drying out though. I'm gonna keep it for now. Uh, this is Makeup Revolution Salvation Velvet Lacquer in no idea what shade, but I don't know why I bought this because girl ain't gonna wear that color. Yeah, like really. I think I got it thinking it would like oh be really pretty for um, spring, but then do you see how neon that actually ends up being? No way. These are two I have from Ulta. It's their matte lip cream. Um, I don't remember what I think about this. I forget if I liked it or not. I think it was like nice, but it's not like super long wearing. I'm gonna keep the dark one, which is stirring, and I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of Lively. All right, let's do these NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. Okay, here's all the ones I own. Oh my gosh, uh, can you tell I really like it? Um, this one is actually a recent repurchase because I went through the previous tube. Um, cons I really like. I really need to swatch these. So I'm gonna keep this one that's brand new. I really need to open it so I can actually start using it. Uh, Copenhagen, super dark. I think I kept that because if it's super dark, I want it to be comfortable but long wearing. I'm gonna keep it at this point. Cons, okay. Let's try to swatch these really quick. And I'll just kind of briefly decide. Oh, cons I'm gonna keep, most definitely. This is Amsterdam. Oh, that's a red. We're gonna put that in the red category. Ibiza. It's pretty for spring. San Pablo, Pueblo, also very pretty. Antwerp, <sighs> okay, I'm gonna get rid of Antwerp, a little too bright, and I'm going to keep San Pablo, I'm gonna get rid of Ibiza, so this and this I'm gonna get rid of, I'm gonna keep the deeper tones. These are all my Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipsticks. This is in um, Pantina, Rico, Carmelo, and Bossy. Keeping Pantina, that's like the one she's most known for. This was in a lip, lip set I got last year, I think. Carmelo, I feel like Carmelo is way too light for me. Bossy. I'm gonna get rid of these two shades and then just keep this dark shade. Okay, here's two more. Um, oh, here, I didn't know I had another Kat Von D. Which one is this? Well, I don't know what shade this is. Here's a mini Kat Von D, must have been a 100 point perk. That's pretty, I will keep that. And then this is a Tarte Lip Paint, and a little mini I got, I think it was like a birthday. Uh, gift. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of it. I just recently got a full-size uh, tart in my um, boxy charm, so I can try it there. Okay, let's briefly talk about my Smashbox liquid lipstick collection. I think I have 10, and I know it's a little intense, but I'm gonna keep them all at this point. I really like this formula, and I like having a variety of colors, some super fun and crazy, so I'm keeping them all. Not really gonna think of any excuse, just gonna admit it. Sephora uh, Rouge Cream Lip Stain in the color 13. Also pretty sure I'm gonna keep it, but I will swatch it for you. Yep, 
I really like this formula, um, very comfortable. Ooh, this is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Let's grab all hers. Okay, so these are all Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks. Let's just go down the line. Let's see, this is in he Heather's, I don't know, Catnip, Lovely, and Paint. Catnip, I'm going to keep because it's a relatively recent purchase, this shade right here. Let's see, Lovely and Heather's. I'm just gonna get rid of these two though because I'm pretty sure they're like two years old at this point. I'm gonna keep these two because they're unique and um, a friend actually gave them to me and I haven't really worn either of them yet. Uh, Laura Geller, 50 Kisses Lip Lock Liquid Lip Color in Ravishing Rose. I don't know why this is in here because this is one, I think I've worn it once or twice, maybe that's how it got in here, but I haven't tested it to like get my thoughts on it, so I'm definitely keeping it. These are from Lorac Pro Liquid Lipsticks. Oh yeah, that one looks like it's actually gone bad. There those three are, that definitely doesn't look good. I'm just gonna keep the lightest shade, which is Nude Rose, and I'm going to get rid of Dusty Rose and Mulberry. I think I only have, oh, I have two. I have two Milani liquid lipsticks. If I remember right, right I really like them. Um, the dark is Crush and the lightest is Beloved. I'm going to just keep Beloved and get rid of Crush. Crush was just a little too dark for me. This is Lip Lingerie and Bedtime Fleur. Also not sure why this is in here because I need to wear this in like, wear it and pay attention <laughs> so I can give an in-depth review on it uh, or have an in-depth opinion on it. So I'm going to keep that. Then let's do ColourPop. Some of these are matte liquid lipsticks and some of these are ultra satins. Um, these are actually too new to my collection. I also got them from a friend in the colors Wild Nothing and Naughty. They're both new, as I said, I just got them from a friend. So I'm gonna keep them because I haven't even worn them. Okay, I think these are all the ultra matte lips. It's most frustrating part of ColourPop's lipstick is that, or like packaging for their liquid lipsticks, is that they like wear off. You know, I don't, and then like, how am I supposed to differentiate? Cause they're both the same packaging. Deeper. Notion, I think I'm gonna get rid of Notion. It's just very dark, not my style. This is, oh, bright, whatever it is. Donut, I'm gonna get rid of that one. And then Bumble. Well, that's disgusting. I think it was like around the edge. Heart, like something that hardened. Yeah, I'm gonna keep Bumble. As long as I don't ever pull that out again. So I'm gonna keep Bumble and Beeper. Okay, making progress. Then these are the Ultra Satin Lips. Strip, I just got in a boxy charm and I already gave my thoughts on Naked Ladies, Lion King, and freaking Brack. Let me double check, but I feel like... Now it's gonna swatch a little watery weird because my arm is still wet. I'm trying to hurry. My daughter is now awake. So I'm gonna have to wait to do the reds for another day, I think. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of Naked Ladies. That's just very bright. I think I've worn it once and then uh, just not that brave again. And I'm gonna keep these two, which are Lion King and freaking Frack. All right, these are from Mellow Cosmetics. I'm just gonna try to run through them. I did a review on my blog. Oh wait, this is not, <laughs> this is an ultra satin lip. This is ColourPop and I Love Sarah E. Uh, one, a 951, I like this color too. Anyway, 